thanks a lot, Raycom. I would like to present some ideas about brain freeze, or it's also called ice cream headache. Um, which one of you, I don't have a pointer. Which one of you um, had ever had a brain freeze? This short lasting headache after ingestion of ice cream, slushy. It's not so much. I expect more. Ice cream headache on both sides after eating? No? Okay. The literature, now it was, like, let's say, 40%. The literature say it's up to 50%. So not everybody got a brain freeze, but mostly 50 to 70%. This means um, brain freeze is one of the most often headache disorders or physical disorder or not. It is more often than migraine or tension headache. So, but not everybody gets it. For me, for instance, I love ice cream, but I never had ice cream headache. So sorry, but I will tell you more. So, besides human beings, also animals can get headache after ingestion of cold things. For instance, um, goats, dogs, um, cats, and if you're not believing, also goats can get brain freeze. Here's the proof. I found this video. Now it starts. <laughs> so maybe somebody remember last time getting this brain freeze? It looks like this once again. This is a true story. My boss was asked by his small daughter, why I get brain freeze and my friend have no brain freeze. What is the reason for this? And my boss, my professor is specialized in brain disorders, so and he couldn't know what is the answer. So next meeting, he asked us, and nobody um, could answer. So I started a small literature research, and as it was mentioned, there is little research. It's one of the most often headaches, but nobody was um, doing research in this. And in literature, there are mainly two theories how it works is brain freeze. One theory is that the vessels, the tubes coming from heart, pumping the blood, bringing the blood to the brain, the arteries, brain arteries, get smaller. After ingestion of ice cream or slushy or something else, it is like a reflex that it gets smaller, so less blood goes to the head, to the brain, and the tubes, the arteries, get smaller. So maybe this, it could be the reason of brain freeze. The opposite idea is based on that the arteries get bigger. So more blood flows goes to the brain, and the brain has, is surrounded by bones, so it gets its more pressure, so maybe this makes the brain freeze. So we started research and we thought, okay, how, how we can measure this? And a good um, me method for measuring blood flow outside and inside the brain is ultrasound. So this is my colleague. We call him Mr. Ice Cream Headache. And with ultrasound, we can measure in a very high resolution the blood flow, the, blood, the flow of red blood cells inside the brain. And for this, we need ultrasound, and here we have one, two probes, but we are interested in more than two um, tubes, arteries. We are also interested in the extracranial, in the neck. So we had to construct a new device, and we call it Hallische Halterung, and it was constructed by the Forschungswerkstatt. Many thanks to them. And with this, we, um, we was able to start our research, so we make some advertisement, and I don't know, maybe somebody took part of this study, and there was free ice cream for everybody. So, and 77 volunteers, mostly young and healthy, um, take part in the study. And this is an ultrasound, there's no sound, please. I like sound, I like this sound, the sound of brain. No brain, it's like beating. 
and it's better than Tecmo. It has 80 to 90 um, BPM. It's not so beautiful as uh, um, music before, but for me, it's like the sound of the brain. Not possible? <laughs> okay, I tell you what you can see on this. Um, these are a lot of pixels, and if you take one of these pixels here, it is, this pixel is based on a reflection on a blood cell. And we can say this pixel here, okay, it has a speed of 32 centimeters per second. So the blood flow in the brain is mostly at this speed. And at this point, um, the volunteer stopped to here. It he was drinking 200 milliliter ice water. So you can see it starts from 80 and goes to, let's say, 96, so more than 10% increase of blood flow. So the speed of red blood cells is increasing after drinking ice water. And, and the second problem um, was how we can um, measure dil uh, dilatation or constriction of the, of the vessels. So we found a very old technique and it's based on these um, images. So we can um, calculate from these images um, the flow index and based on the flow index we can measure changes in the real blood flow and changes in the diameter. So what we found in this study is that 50% of our volunteers get a brain freeze, mostly bilateral, medium intense, so we call it 5 of 10 um, points of pain and mostly s some of them get a second brain freeze, so they had the first one and 10, 20 seconds later a second one came. So, surprise, never had this reported before and in new studies we also found that this can be come um, three and four times. So, um, based on the ultrasound, we found that the arteries delayed, they get bigger. So this means our results favor the second idea, that there is a dilatation, that is the diameter increase after ingestion of ice cream. Also, we found a few, few patients um, start crying. Most of them had brain freeze, but some um, start crying without brain freeze. And um, we had, we, we could measure changes in the cardiovascular system. So, for instance, the heartbeat gets slower. We thought before it must be a decrease, but our measurements it showed significantly a decrease, and the blood pressure increased. So, the, the heart is pumping slower, but more blood. More blood goes to the brain. So maybe for you not so interesting, but for our, our was the most interesting thing was crying. Because crying, it's, um, it's organized by the brainstem. And there is no reflex, it's called uh, parasympathetic outflow reflex. And this, if this reflex is activated, you, you start crying. And also the brain arteries delayed. So this might be a very good explanation why um, we have this blood flow increase in the brain after ingestion of something called. But most things in the human body make sense. Why is this? Hmm, strange. So, but what we measured, the results are very similar to the diving reflex. It's one of the oldest reflex Animals, diving ducks, for instance, or very young babies have this. And if something cold touch our face or um, the mouth inside, um, there is change in blood flow. So the blood flow from extremities, from arm and legs, get lower, and the blood flow redirect to the brain and to the heart. So there's a redirection of blood flow to the brain and heart, the most important organs of the body. And in babies it is, they stop breathing. If you touch with something cold in the face or cold water, the, the frequency of breathing decreases and here it 
completely decreased. So babies can swim underwater and using oxygen and glucose, which is already in the body. In summary, based on our liter literature research and based on our study, take home message is brain freeze is completely harmless. You can eat as much as you want, <laughs> as you like. And, but ice cream intake makes a lot of change on the cardiovascular system in our body. So it causes a shift from blood flow to the extremities, going more to brain and heart. And for me, as a, a doctor specialized in stroke medicine, this is very interesting. So sometimes we have condition, strokes, this means there is a shortage of blood, for instance, in this area, and might be it is useful using this brain freeze or diving reflex that in such situation in an acute stroke, we only putting cold water on a face. So the blood flow in the, around the, um, the stroke area. So maybe we can reduce the size of stroke. Thank you very much. Enjoy your next slushy and experience your own brain freeze. Thank you very much.